Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joints. Hashtag is still in a joint where every day is payday, baby. You tuned in to another esoteric football commentary with your girl, Anita Flying High. When we are back with some more individual action, of course, the Houston Dash take on the Chicago Red Stars today. Um, in match day 15, I believe this is the final match. Um, oh, look, they already time for a turnaround, they already hit us with the records. Listen. We see the records zero, two, and three. Um, one, four, and zero. Two losses for Houston, three draws, um, goals for, goals against, shots on target. You see the stats. Chicago, unfortunately, um, they were without their big player, and they did lose a lot of players, key players in the midfield last season as well. Okay, you got Sanchez getting some, some, uh, getting some opening uh applause we have alonzi here sanchez with a good little that was a good goal a uh, really happy goal uh three goals two assists leads leads houston um and you know sanchez she has to continue i mean listen no world cup for mexico so i mean if you're playing uh for if you're if you're maria and everyone else in the mexican national team um let's see ellis stevens she's getting some love here let's see Scored the only goal, right, against San Diego, I believe. And But honestly, well done, Chicago. I mean, listen, it is very tough to, you know, you go down with your star player. That's the narrative. And then you just, you have to grind out every match. Every match, everyone thinks you're, they're going to beat you. And, 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 like, you know, they were on a four-game, I think, losing streak. But, um, you know, luckily, they in Kansas City, we're on, like, a five-game losing streak. So just incredible how these teams have been on these streaks uh, of losing are able just to show their courage and fight fight back and you know get three points it's very tough so you just gotta applaud the um you know the good energy uh but yeah man happy friday happy venus day to everyone it is officially cancer season as well of course the cancer season world cup yada yada but uh houston dash take on chicago red stars like i said Chicago coming off that W versus San Diego. And yes, we you know the players that you usually expect to see weren't there, but I uh, I didn't get to watch that match. But you got to not, who, who doesn't root for the underdog? Uh, and listen, it's not tonight, okay? Just not tonight. Houston Dash are playing. But listen, Houston have to get it done. You saw that Houston have scored, what, how many goals? Struggle, struggle. It's been very strong. It's been tough. Uh, like I said, I keep telling y'all, we, we lost daily. She, daily and Lewis. Together, those uh, assists and goals, uh, it's a big miss. Uh, and like I said, Ebony, they, he's been, we got, and we got a new manager. So it's just like, okay, the, the coach's vision of the team is looking different. If I saw the lineup that, um, that I wrote down via Google, I'm liking this lineup. And like I said, uh, we do have players that are missing. Uh, not yet. Alonzi's still, I don't know, is Alonzi in Sierra on the bench? I think so. She's gone. A lot of our players are, you know, the kind of, yeah, I think a lot of our players kind of dip now. No USA players, but it's okay. Um, you know, Jamaica featured, Brazil now featured, uh, Nigeria featured, and Canada uh, featured for Houston Dash. And uh, Chicago, they would have had Miles Swanson, of course. And I, I would I think Chicago got some more national team players. We'll, we'll have to look um, when they, you know, c continue the video. You know, continue the, uh, when we watch the match tonight. Um, but in general, I it hurts, but it doesn't hurt because I... Houston had just struggling this season with uh, scoring goals and just figuring out how they want to play together. And then Chicago, on the other hand... Um, didn't expect to be in the position that they are right now you know can chicago make their way back up the table i mean i have to look at the table just to make sure see how far because to be honest there's like two top there's like two races of course um there's a race for the top six and uh, houston are sitting still below i believe that i was listening to um another match and um they were saying no nobody really moved in positioning um so it just shows you it was like a I would say like a, a every day every team knew what they had to do the match day 14 uh, fortunately houston didn't get the dub but you hear you see the lineup i'm thinking i'm thinking we got the rookie of the year back in the lineup shout out to ronnie and she's up there top left 
right wing, right wing. You got Ebony in there. You got, and then you got uh, uh, Diana here at the top, and Peterson. I fuck with Peterson. I said you got Sanchez, Magiano, Caprice here. So he has, he's sticking with this back line with Jacobs, Lynn, and uh, Frysock. I'm feeling it. And then Chicago, like I said, I, I believe when I watched Chicago, they, the first match was against Houston. I think Chicago played Houston like the first match uh, or second match or something. It was very early, and I really haven't seen Chicago like that in a while. Uh, but all their players need to step up, you know. And it's funny. Um, well, it's not really funny, but I came across a, uh, another football player's YouTube uh St. George's, St. George's, Bianca St. George's. So she got a YouTube channel. So shout out to her. Go, you know, go, 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 subscribe to her channel. She's, she's, I, I like her content. You know what I'm saying? She's definitely uh, someone that I think that um, helps you perceive the reality of a football player that is, you know, starting to see the reality and everything else. But anyways, you should go check out her videos. Super dope. Uh, but, you know, we're going to watch the football, Bianca, here today. But in general, you know, Chicago do got some... I always told you before, I have enjoyed watching Chicago play. Even before, even last year, the year before, I, I enjoyed the way they played. But they lost, I think they lost um, their whole midfield. It felt like, I think, uh, who was it? I think Levante or... Man, don't, they did lose. Chicago lost some pieces. And I don't understand. I don't know how that happened all in one time. I guess, you know, the ladies were ready for a change. But they lost Morgan um, Garat as well. They did lose some, and of course they're they're still trying to like anyway. They still trying to recover from Sam Carlos now. Well, yeah, now you're recovering from Mal Swanson, but something needs to go down in Chicago where they need a revolution. You know what I mean? They, so hopefully, you know, they, they can make it happen. Especially with, it's and it, just not against the dash, of course. And Houston gotta score some goals, man. Uh, you know, coming off that loss, a narrow defeat to. Um, a narrow defeat to North Carolina. Uh, what Tyler Lucy? She had the goal. Uh, then she flexed on us. And but at least it was away from home. But North Carolina on like a four or five game winning streak. You try. We were trying to beat them at home, and they're performing really well, climbing up the table. I mean, we're this. Is, I'm not saying it's a different North Carolina team, and in the players, I'm like, like I said again, when it comes to Houston, it's like these are like kind of our these are our stars for Houston, you know, practically, and couldn't get it done against North Carolina, like I said, this season's been ups and downs, um, and I feel like there's no excuses not to perform well against Chicago once again tonight, and we just have to see both teams, I think both teams are going to fight hard, but, um, I mean, I expect Houston to really, really, like, come on, like, this is, this, if y'all can't, this, I'm not saying, if y'all can't beat Chicago, Y'all beat Chicago with their best player. You could beat them without their best player, for sure. You have to figure out something. Um, and But Sam Boy, he's been changing the lineup, like, a lot. He's really trying to find something. Because this is the first time I've seen this lineup. You get you bring in Garrison and you bring Ebony back. I mean, this is definitely the... Uh, and he, bring, he, brought, he brings in, because uh, Anderson is not in the lineup. And he has been playing her a lot. I didn't see Anderson in the lineup. Vigiano's there. Um, and I don't know. What happened to Shea Grooms? Like, she appeared for, like, one match or half a little bit of a match. And then, like, I don't know what happened to her. Maybe she played one more time. But I guess she's still kind of, you know, recovering, you know? So, shout out to Shea Grooms, you know? Uh, but, man, it's always great to be able to watch football uh, with you all. And, and, and uh, let me just share this on uh, Twitter. And there's a lot of matches. Well, not a lot of matches. I did actually like this week's, um, well, how they kind of spread it out. Like, there was, like, there's two matches today. I think two matches tomorrow and two matches on the weekend, I believe. I mean, Saturday and Sunday. And um, that's real nice, you know. It's real nice. Uh, spread them out. Especially we're going to have two new teams to ne next year. Yeah, two new teams next year. They're gonna have to make sure they like not all the matches are on one day, like because that's most of the time they're not. But that's, that's oh oh in the box, Garson. It's blocked. Sanchez is there. Oh man, I'm freaking. Let me let me share this real quick. I'm f Yo, Tucky, what's up? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? We live. All right, we live. Here we go. I always get hyped, man. You know, I'm. I'm just so. Exactly what Sam Lately will be looking for her to do a little bit more of in the last game. She didn't start. 
has become more of an impact. I just get so hyped. Uh, it's like when we get to, when I just get to come back and do football commentary because I like, really everything that's going on in reality, I get to like charge it and like and explode y'all with explode y'all. I mean, it's not. Uh, but just feed y'all with football information. You see, Ebony shots twenty eight. I didn't even see. I don't even know twenty eight. What like what twenty eight? Like she has appeared twenty eight appearances. Like, like that's no way. Twenty eight shots. But Ebony, yeah, she's only scored one goal for us. Out of 15 matches, I mean, she hasn't started many. She's been coming off the bench, but it's just like, damn, she's only 20? I, I have to remember, like, because I just saw Laura J. Well, of course, I hop, I hop on Twitter, man, and it's just football. That's all I want to see. That's all I want to see, right? Football. And so Laura James, she was like, she doesn't want to be known as Reese's. You know, she knows that uh, people recognize her before, for her being Reese's brother. I mean, Reese's fucking name. Reese's sister. But uh, she was like, you know, Laura James has already have made her own, like, her own name for herself already. Like, most people should know. Like, I mean, she, she's gonna, this is her, well, England need her to be on point if they want to try to win uh, a World Cup. Uh, because she's gonna be very influential. Like, she's, when you look at the, I don't know why I'm getting on to England and Laura James and everything. But I guess because England drew against Portugal, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I saw some of the. Oh yeah, I, I, I saw that England drew against Portugal, which was very nice to to see. You know, I, look, I I can't help it. Look, I'm you, Team USA, Team USA. You know, USA played Wales, and uh, you know, listen, the World Cup is 13, 14 days away, y'all. I hope y'all are ready. Like, we're already we are, the ladies are practically already playing each other. We got Germany getting beaten by Zambia. You know what I'm saying? France were playing. I think Republic Ireland. It's the World Cup already right now, but not officially. But the, um, the teams are already taking L's. Like, did y'all expect Germany? I'm thinking. I'm looking at Germany. I'm like, like Germany. You had like your team ish. What was it? Wolfsburg team ish. I know it's not all Wolfsburg. I was like, y'all just made it to the. Uh, first of all, y'all made it to the finals. Last in, in the Euros, I'm like, Germany, what's good? Like, what, what happened? Like, and it gets Zambia, and they have a star striker, and apparently, you know, listen, I'm shouting to the African nations that are coming up. It's about time they change the narrative on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and France is in you know, France, Brazil, thankfully, you know, they here, they're going to be turning up this year. Uh, we're going to get to see a, this incredible ballers. Uh, but uh, Barbara Band, we, we, we talked about her last World Cup. Uh, how she performed, uh, but hopefully she needs to go to a big club. Or oh, I don't know where she's at, where she plays for, to see her more consistently. We got to see what, and then of course her her teammates have to follow. That's what has to happen. Like that's what I feel like. <clears throat> it's because now the Uso is getting more competitive for sure. That's what we need. We need competition so we can grow. You know, sometimes uh, if if we're in a, an environment that doesn't allow us to grow, we're not, what what are we learning? You know, so we need that. And the women's game to, for the nations to get better and to show the the countries that have uh that are more you know that are invested in the game or not aren't even not invested into game um to get into the game and i, I remember what keep telling you now because I, I told myself this um uh, and I, hopefully i'm able to say it right but because the game football is the biggest sport i i still haven't fixed that paris thing hold on hold on oh well. Uh, because football is the biggest sport in, practically in the world, okay? If you exclude America. Uh, football is the biggest sport in the world. Um, the men and the women, it shall, it shall be, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be the same as for the women. Because it's still the, it, it, overall, it has more more football supporters in the, there's more football supporters in the world, if that makes sense. Because football is the world's game. Uh, the world sport and, and it's just a sport that's just one specific thing but to be the world that's pretty you know that's pretty phenomenal like how many people are here you know there's a lot of us here seven billion they want us keep saying they want to tell us and you say majority of those people are <laughs> football supporters right uh and that's usually just on the men's side and then you add the women's side i mean we're they're growing in numbers so oh shit hold on let me uh, fix this paris thing I'm missing the action here. Houston, Houston, we're doing something. Hmm. Yeah, so PSG, Diani. Yeah, I saw her on Twitter. I follow her on Twitter too. She she announced that she's leaving. I, well, I didn't really understand anything that I read, but I just saw uh, Messi. Hey, so I'm guessing that's thank you. There it is, Paris. Two Paris. I fixed it. But we know that Amanda and um, 
Who else left? Amanda left. Uh, actually, Lawrence left. They're both going to the Super League. Chelsea and Arsenal had PSG players. But <clears throat> PSG did get a Brazilian. Uh, so, we were... And, but who was going to sign Dion? I want to know if she's if she can't. Hopefully, Diani doesn't. Listen, I don't even know where she wants to do. Uh, she goes to uh, she stays in France or she goes somewhere else. But you said Chicago playing so bad. All right, I need to get back into the game. Hold on now. But there's just so much things, so many things to, to tell you, right? I right, guess. <clears throat> like I said, uh, if. I'm already looking towards the draft picks, but we have the uh, the two new teams coming and the expansion teams, and you know, Naomi Naomi Gorma Naomi Naomi Gorma. That's how you say name. Miss Gorma. Anyways, the uh, San Diego Wave um, MVP, what Rookie of the Year or something? Uh, I was the Gemini. That's how I remember her by now. She, apparently, she, I didn't know she was has. Uh, Ethiopian descent. I guess her parents were from Ethiopia because um, I was listening to the radio. I was like, oh shit, so she's she's not from quote unquote America. And I, I actually surprised me. So, um, oh Lord have mercy, who will I be cheering for? Uh, you don't see my Houston Dash? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Houston Dash. My, I forget. I forget. Houston Dash, the orange team. Uh, but yeah, the USA announced um, two, two, two. USA announced two, um, their captains, Morgan and Haran. So we got the, of course. Oh no, for the two new teams next year. Oh, oh, why that, homie? Uh, well, we got the AFC, right? The AFC and then Utah Royals. I mean, I fuck with Amy Rodriguez, y'all. I like the interview that I listened to when she. Um, which, I mean, she's the GOAT, man. a, -Rod, a, -A -Rod, she's the GOAT, too. She's like, when I was watching the USA, it was her, you know, they said, Morgan doesn't deserve to be captain. Morgan's the poster girl. You already know it. But Harana's going to lead the charge next. She's our, she's the next, uh, she's the next one. Haran, a, a part of, when it comes to this group, this next group uh, will be, like, in a way, Haran will be the, the poster girl. Because it's Morgan and Crystal Dunn, they're out. Rapino, all of them are gonna be out the door. No, Ertz is better. Oh, oh, oh. Ertz is better. Ertz been gone for two years though. That's the only thing. If she was playing, you know what I'm saying. If she was playing, you know what I'm saying. She would. She probably. Yeah, Ertz. It's handy that you're very nice, man. Sometimes you catch me on my bad side, you probably wouldn't ever come back. <laughs> Just being realistic, but thank you. I um I uh, even done deserve more Morgan. I, 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 more, like I said, um, Morgan. Uh, she's the she's been the perfect soccer face for Team USA for a long time. This so you know. And like I said, uh, yeah, we're not really control of that. You know that's what. Uh, but they're all captains in your own right. You have to be a captain in general. Especially when you're like 1v1 with opportunities, you're like, oh my goodness, should I should I attack her? What the fuck? Getting a little dark in this hole. Hold on, he said, well, if it's for the face, lol. Uh, uh, yeah, she's the face, man. Now you see what she's done. Look, I said, don't get me started. Y'all see what some of these, like, in America, in America, we have this thing. And it's not just Morgan that's done it. Rapino's done it. I think Kristen Press has done it. Like in a, and I mean, I mean, I think Crystal Dunn has done it too, but like, um, yeah, like they, it, there's this issue. I don't know why, because you said the face, so I just have to go on what you said. There's an issue like an ESPN where you get naked, like, and you take, and they take photos of you naked in your sport. I don't know how that's like an actual thing, and they they pay the athletes like, hey, this is now forever. We'll have photos of naked athletes like in a in a whole catalog. Like what? Like wait. Wait, I, I, I don't understand. Okay, she said, um, you said, let's be honest, it's it's for the face, okay, but she has no leadership. <laughs> Shoot. But Alex, Alex has done her part. She's She really helped. Um, And I know there's been more than her, but since the game has gotten more popular, she really has helped. Uh, and it, listen, you need to, when you live in a world where there's subconsciously projections about what type of what type of player Alex Morgan and who she's who she has to be, 
a part of that when it comes to that system she's perfect you know so she's perfect that has more leadership so i feel you i feel you like you know what i'm saying and it's probably more uh i don't know i think maybe dunn has that i don't know Alex Morgan's cabinet and Crystal Dunn's cabinet because they both got Champions League dubs. I gotta look at their, you know, they got World Cups and uh, I think I'm thinking Crystal Dunn probably has more trophies though. You know what I'm saying? I think she has more trophies. I think Crystal Dunn has more trophies and she's she plays in multiple positions, so she's definitely more versatile. But Houston, here you see Vigiano, almost goal. I, right, Vigiano tries stuff here, far post, cleared off the box, out the box. Out, out of the box. All right, all right, Nash. A another another corner here. Sanchez gets up there. Oh, uh, kind of that player would think that's Jacobs back there. Looked like she might have got slapped maybe on the way down. Peterson putting the ball back. And uh, Cooper from Can Kansas City current. Uh, she's like the next big player that's coming through. Like, it's kind of scary. The you said Chicago has horrible defending. Chicago. Hey, what you talking about? They got they got almost called up Tiana Davidson. If what if Tiana Davidson would have been healthy, maybe she would have got to the USC. And they, you know, I know Casey Kruger gets a lot of love too. She was part of the USA team a little bit. Um, you know, and the Davidson, she's just getting back from injury and everything. And you know, Chicago was like, damn. And you know, we finally got one of our another. Oh, you would say a stronghold. And, and the defense, uh, but like I said, Chicago got changes. Like, look at their—I don't even like when I think about their midfield. I'm like, I don't know them like that. I haven't like watched Chicago. I haven't been a Chicago supporter, but I know they—they they had um, Di Bernardo. They had uh, De Bonita. Uh, they had Morgan Garrett. They had those are three big players. That's that's Morgan Garrett is a World Cup winner. And then they, they, they lose Mount Swanson. So they they have they taken an L this season. All right, I'm just saying they've taken an L this season. It is it, and who who did Mal go out against? It was against the international play. It wasn't even against. Um, it wasn't even a I don't believe a, a match in, in the BCL. So you know, Chicago definitely they have to learn um, either you know better recruitment. They got to figure out you know injuries happen. That's the game. That's the game. But they have to prepare for this. I mean, first time, shame on you. Second time, nigga, was y'all not paying attention to the first time? Like, what the fuck? Chicago? Chicago. So you say injuries and have played Chicago last place. But Houston, I mean, like I said, we haven't been able to... Look at this. Texas size drought. No way. Did they just say Texas size drought? I'm done. Stop it, bro. You know I say go big or go home, but scoreless in the last four games, all comps, 414 minutes streak. This is not a, this is not the momentum. This is not the wave. Houston Dash I want to be on. He, they said Texas size drought. I'm done. They really on us today. I'm done, bro. I'm done. Okay, I know it's because I've been a. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, shot over. Y'all, y'all funny. Y'all funny. Y'all funny. Y'all funny. Uh, but um, <clears throat> all right. Here's a uh, here's a uh, Vigiano here. Yeah, yeah. Diana running in. Ebony here. Yeah, and I think with Ebony, it just gives you another option to in the attack. I mean, it had this when it comes to the attack. It only really was um, you know, Sanchez and Diana. Um. And not having, you know, like I said, you see the, our Rookie of the Year come back. It's very important. Listen, when your Rookie of the Year is not even playing, you're like, why is she playing? Oh, I was say Peterson. Yeah, I like Peterson's energy. She uh, she had a tough match last uh, last match. You said Peterson from Dash is so nice. She had a tough match, though, last time. Um, but I do like, like, when we first started to see her, she was a, a player that was crossing the ball in the box a lot more. Um, but it looks like he, he may be playing her as a, a, a defensive position or just to help, and, but also be like a priest. Uh, she likes to... Good, good, good option. Here's uh, St. George. Ooh. You, you had your hand up before the assistant referee. I know. As soon as I saw it, you could kind of tell from those positions. All right. Jake Campbell put it back into play. 
Uh, when Dash played AC, I asked her for her picture and she, and she held my hand. <laughs> when Dash played, I asked her for her picture and she held my hand. Ah, oh, oh, Peterson, I'm done. Hey man, we gotta remember, there, 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 just, there are people just like us, you know? There are people just like us, and uh, thankfully, you know, she had, she, ooh. Ah, she was so sweet. Ah, that's nice, man. That's that's a great um oh that's a great in the ball and behind. Oh, Jay Campbell out though. Chicago here cutting through uh Houston. Hmm. You talked about her passing in the He's saying not a lot of players do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, they have to be careful, you know. They don't know who you are, you know. You're like, hey, I want your autograph and you know, anything can happen in that instance. But you hope that, you know, people that come out to the games are and listen, you never know what type of people are. You know, listen, nowadays in this world, you you never know who people are. You just that's just the reality that we have that they they have, we listen, listen. You gotta read energy, fam. So she probably read your energy chart. Like, all right, he cool. Or if you're a girl, I don't know if you're a girl boy. My bad. But they're like, yeah, they cool. You don't say real shit, and that's why you know you got what she got. Uh, but um, man, this was good from Chicago. They're gonna wish that um they were able to put that in the back. In the back of a camel here with the Texas size safe, real shit. Uh, out uh, uh, for the tees here's Garson, she's offside though, but really good too. Like I said, she's on that left, well, she's on the left side right now. Uh, but been missed the girl, rookie of the year, been missed the girl, and you know, she's played. I'm trying to remember what happened. Um, after we drafted her, I forgot what, what match it was. You said. Oh, yes, I know, but I love when there's kind. I always ask for a pig, but always say thank you, respect. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, you know, same real shit. Um, <clears throat> that's what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? Just be the energy you wish to attract. Uh, but Chicago got a new manager, too. I don't know who that guy is, but... Uh, and also, Mexico has been playing too. I'm kind of like, I think Mexico played Jamaica. I thought they played Jamaica like as their last match. And I want, I mean, I haven't really, I don't even know what channel they're streaming on. Um, I don't even know what channel they've been playing on, but um, shout out to Mexico. You know, I see y'all be doing y'all work. I see y'all, I see y'all out there. I see the timeline. I see the timeline. I see the timeline. But um, speaking of, well, we already talked about a little bit about friends. But yeah, Diani, not Diani. Yeah, yeah, Diani's gonna be leaving Paris. But Henri, because the World Cup is happening, Henri is out for the count. It's so I, I was honestly when I saw that, I was honestly like devastated. I mean, she'll she'll be there spiritually, but dang, I really thought I was like, you know what? With France adding Henri on the field, I mean that's that gives them a little bit more depth on that position. Um. And so, um, oh, so I think that was a handball. Oh. But it, it, anybody that, it just like, it was kind of like the, remember we had the World Cup? What was, not the World Cup, the, uh, the Euros. Uh, all the big players got hurt, like, literally right before. And then during the Euros, right? And, um, uh, it's unfortunate that has hit France, and they're already without Delphine. So now without Henri, I mean, I think, but um, it, it's. Mm, I feel like they'll be okay. But here, ooh, that ball hit it on. Ebony is gonna take a chase. That's so Kruger and um, Davidson have to really mark um, Ebony. Hopefully, she gives them a tough time on that side. Hopefully, she. Uh, it looks like she's full of energy today too, as well. Everyone looks a little better. There, of course, anytime you're playing at home, you got Ebony. He just get a corner. No, nope. uh, well, okay, couldn't get that ball off. Deflection. So Chicago from the back. Hmm. Well, Chicago best place. Chicago best. Um. Racing Louisville versus Houston. Yeah. So we're gonna have Challenge Cup matches during the uh, World Cup. So um, I mean, at least we'll have like a PM match, I guess. I mean, shit. Good pressure from the, the rookie. Ryan, she gets it out. Chicago now through Ricaro. Sanchez trying to grab. Okay. Good into, ooh, that touch. A little, needed a, Jacobs fouls probably. But the advance, this is Stevens here. She, she scored the last goal, right? In the box. 
Ooh, she's pretty, she's very subtle inside the box and still got to pass off. Griffith. Oh, yeah, that's Griffith. Griffith, you know, from Harry. I don't know from, not, I was going to say from Harry Potter, but I don't think that's right. Uh, that's, but that's, that's what I get when I say her name. Ebony, that touch. She runs into two. Uh, Chicago. And they're kind of frantic, too, sometimes. Chicago. But I think that was a good spell. They got the ball out. Here's Kruger. Uh, on the left, you see Ebony back there now, having to defend. Don't foul, don't foul. She stays on her feet. Yeah, referee calls the free kick. All right, free kick for Chicago. Gonna set up something. Gotta be careful. This is just the tangles of the feet. You know, it happens. You know, it happens. It happens. But good on for Kruger for um for uh you know trying to create something there. For number five, number five, Julie, Julie. Julie, <laughs> Julie here is gonna take this uh, quarter for uh, Chicago. Chicago. Luckily, they're playing a little later. I mean, cause I mean, today wasn't actually too hot today. Today wasn't actually hot today, so uh, that's really good. Ooh, they had one runner right there, number three. She was available. I don't know who's fucking her. What's this? I'm trying to look right here. Oh, it was 23, maybe. I couldn't get that jersey number. It looked like a two and something. Bro, you asking a lot of questions, bro. You asking a lot of questions. <laughs> Yeah, you're asking a lot of questions, dude. <laughs> Eva Cook, number 25. <laughs> Shit. Um. <laughs> Shout out to everyone tuning in. Okay, number 25. Okay, Ava. All right. She was there. Let's just say... Texas, when it's summertime in Texas, it's, uh, well, I don't know, it's triple digits. Today wasn't that hot, though, thankfully. Thankfully. But, um, the one with the mask on. All right. And there's matches, I think, let me see. I th I know I saw when I logged on to uh, look at the, the Houston Dash roster. Um, I saw that Orlando were all up one against All Rain, if that was true. So Orlando, they got some ballers out there too. That's still that's still there, you know. And uh, Sanchez here, I'm doing a little extra. But still has the ball. Um, they're getting. Hey, look, Orlando, they. Any points any of these teams are getting right now, um, well, it's just, well, it, it's going to help, right? Anybody to say it's just one match. Houston took an L to North Carolina. I mean, I said, you're great. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. You're great as well. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. You saw the curling, though. You saw the curling. I was almost a screamer. Peterson down. Holding her left, left leg, left left foot. I saw here the head of the ball there, and then the ball settles nicely. This was who was that? That was good. She lays it off too. Oh, Cook. Okay, she laid it off. Good, good hold up. She laid it off. I think that was Stevens that ended up taking the shot. She was kind of falling too. Training staff is out. Take a closer look. Here in the 28th minute. Scored us between Houston and Chicago. Both of these teams have a break until August 9th. Ah, or Houston, August 20th. Peters. I know you were talking about her, man. Chicago, but they will have a Challenge Cup game in there. Oh! Okay, they just cut to like... <laughs> they just cut to like the supporter stand. Yo, y'all too zoomed up on them, fam. You said who's gonna hold my hand? Right, all right, she's up. 
Peterson, number five. Number five. She's up. Peterson's gonna be okay to come back. Let's see. Let's we'll see what happens. Uh, Billy, uh, uh. She's a play she's a she's playing a part of this midfield for Houston. It's interesting because a lot of coaches and players always talk about when you play in Houston, the heat and the types of temperatures. And that was something that I asked Sam earlier in the week. How difficult is that from a managerial perspective? Because these players have to play there. Yes, they could be more acclimatized, but sometimes they're going to need more time to recover. They're going to need more rest because they're training in it every single day. And I think a lot of teams, when they do go to Houston and play there, Oh, also, also, they apparently they announced like this thing that they have in the NFL, like, um, hello. Okay, so yeah, when it comes to VAR in the Women's World Cup, apparently, like in the NFL, when there's a foul, oh, so there's a flag on the play, the referees hit their mic and like foul on, or uh, false start number twenty six, uh, five yard penalty, uh, replay second down, you know, some shit like that, you know. And they'll they'll hit and they'll talk to us, the observers, the audience. So apparently they're gonna do that for FIFA and FIFA Women's World Cup for our decisions, and they'll let the audience know what will happen. And I think um, that's pretty like that's interesting. I want to. It's gonna be so interesting to hear. Like yo, no handball because such and such such and such. And uh, hopefully uh, there's good feedback and they're able to build off this, but. It's that something that they do with it, and um, they don't really uh, they do that in like uh, basketball like that. Uh, but the game is changing, right? And apparently, uh, they even ch they changed some of the uh, they upon what I heard on the radio. They changed uh, the offside rule or something like that. Um. So if any of the body is onside and it's a goal, it's a goal. I believe that's what they said. So um Oh, inside the box. Diana Houston. Oh uh, hi. Are you never shot the Tigos versus America match? What? They uh believe we're gonna have a hydration break here. Wait, um, Wonder, wait, what are you talking about? Two guys are going to play Club America win. And, um, is this... Oh. When is this going to happen? Oh, sorry. See, Diana kind of, uh, you said it's only some teams in Italy or something like that. What you talking about? <laughs> what y'all talking about? I don't know what y'all talking about. We got a water break? Someone down? Yeah, so I'm very, like I said, when it comes to the World Cup and uh, these are our decisions, hopefully there's not too many of them. And if there are, they get the decision right and everything will be okay. But, you know, that's just in the fantasy world. You know what I mean? That's in the fantasy world, bro. I wish it was like that. You know, we're going to have some fucked up calls and hopefully it doesn't cost your team the fucking semi-final or oh i'm talking about the new offside rule oh well my bad i was like because i've been talking about so many things i don't even know where i'm at i'm flying all over um you said i think it's uh wait i'm confused then Oh, it's only for some teams in Italy or something like that. What you talking about? What you talking about? The new rule? Oh, you talking about the new rule? Oh, I don't know. I thought it was just the laws of the football. Like I thought everyone followed the same laws in football. Like what offside? Like everyone knew this is offside. But then again, I don't even. I didn't actually specifically look. Uh, but I thought when they changed the rules to a football, it affected everyone that played the game of football. The totality. The totality of the team, uh, but um, I don't really, I don't recognize that coach. Uh, but uh, hydration break. It's it's hot in Houston. It's hot in Houston. Sammy boy, we got a British manager. And then, um, of course, since I listen to the radio, and they talk a lot about the men's game and stuff like that, and 
it's quite frankly interesting to hear them, you know, talk about what they talk about when it comes to the men's game. And like, these are guys that are getting paid a lot of money to like just talk about the the gentleman's game, right? And I'm like, the shit that they're saying, I'm like, y'all are, I'm like, y'all are caking right now, right? Y'all getting paid to talk to the audience, like, like, I'm like, the, when you listen to what the people say, I'm like, I'm like. I can say the same shit too. Real shit. It's just it's cool with like some of them. Like of course they're footballers. Like I remember when I played. I do enjoy the the older heads, like the grumpy pundits. I really enjoy the older heads uh, because they've been able to see the game and they're in the men's game. They've been able to see the men's game change and grow and get better and worse, whatever. And you know before I guess all I I don't know the foot the foot the money changed football or was always it was always going to be like that. I don't know. Let me know. But in general. With ooh, okay, there we go. That's what we need right there. You see, uh, Ordinez in the far and the, uh, on the far, but she, she she gotta let Vigiano grab the ball and get back into the box. I think that's one thing. She 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 wants to help out so much. It's like, Vidana, we need you. Just come get back in the box, fam. Get just get get back in the box. We need you as a target. Like you're, when she wants to be on the ball. I'm like no, but we need you in the box as the target. So, and so I think so. Right there, we saw Vigiano and uh, her kind of just Diana like thinking like ah, she maybe she was a midfielder. We're like no, fam, you are our attacker. Please get yourself in the box. Uh, but. Yeah, when it comes to listening to the men and how and what they talk about in the men's game, it's it's you can see like, of course, because you know I be talking about, I tell y'all about the realms that are unseen that are, quote unquote, hidden from us. You have to have the eyes to see past this illusion, right? So when you hear them talk about the things that they talk about, right? Because they're talking about Messi and you know everyone going and you know you gotta understand, and then in a way when we we really don't hear too much. I don't I, I don't hear the women get talked about as much of course but you could put it in the same characteristics the same narratives switch the teams switch the managers and then there you go um well yeah they're talking about Messi and 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 enter Miami and and uh, all that stuff and um of course uh the big transfer news that they're talking about just like we're kind of talking about too and it's uh but more of a it's more European. They try to do pr practically everything because they do talk about Mexico over there pretty heavily on the on the second channel. And uh, like I said, I just try to feed myself with this soccer talk or football talk uh, in general because it's you know it helps. Of course, I have to see the world for how it is already. When I go outside and see the world, I'm like, fuck. You know what I mean? But uh, in the, when I, when I uh, in my safe space or just in my sanctuary, footballs. Is on the top of my mind, right? And I forgot where I was going with this. But they be caking. Like you, you could do what they do when you listen to them. You're like, damn, this is what they do for three hours straight. Talk about this? Yeah, I can do that too, nigga. I can, I can do that too, nigga. Yeah, real shit. So, uh, it'd be so funny what they be doing. It'd be so funny what they be doing. Like, um, and they be, uh, they bring on. Oh yeah, also. Uh, they bring on, um, I guess, journalists, analysts that are based in certain leagues, and they bring them onto the channel. And they talk about them, talk about certain teams, talk about certain players, and they get that insight knowledge. And they're the ones that post it on that post it on the um, the websites, the websites. So it's very interesting to see. What I said, so what channel are you talking about? Oh, it's on uh, the football channel. It's called Sir it's on Sirius XM 157, the football channel. It's uh it's it's just like all straight soccer for all, all like all all talk. Monday through Friday. And they got ended with some matches that they do commentary on. They comment in the, and before the season ended of the men's league and the champions league, they, they did commentaries like through the radio like on the radio so i'll be driving and you can hear them through the radio so it's like so interesting just to get that perspective on like this is what these men grown men are talking about every day monday through friday i'm like the women's game is just about to get there real shit like because there's just so much there's just so many things that are happening right now in the women's game so i'm just like like people like me, people that have been doing this before me, they're like, damn, it's here. Like, like I listen, I listen to these guys. And as much football lovers are getting now, it's like it's like daily, every day, Monday through Friday. But anyways, 
it's a good channel i like to hear i like to see and hear who they bring on um different people from that write the website articles different people that are analyzed but right now of course they, they're gearing up for the world cup so it's a lot of world cup talk but a lot of the main main people like rapino and they talk about rapino a lot morgan you know the 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 headliners, uh, as you say, uh, but Germo was on there on the, uh, one of the channels, and of course they're talking about Julia Ertz. Yeah, you know the people that we, people that we remember, I guess you could say. But Gara said here she's fast on the left side, but uh, too fast. Diana, but, I mean, this is them too. You know, gotta hold up the ball a little bit. But um, it really does help to see because remember, thousands of people are listening to this, and that's just in America. We're just gonna say thousands, not millions. I'm just saying thousands. Oh wait, you watching your tickets? Wait, wait, what? I don't know. What are y'all talking about? Tickets are actually tickets are playing. I thought the this. I thought uh, you. Were, I thought um, Mexico was playing. So tickets are actually playing and losing. To like the female, what, what is this? I had no idea that they were played today. I didn't even see them on my timeline like that. All I saw was um Mexico. What's going on here? What's going on here? They don't even have their big players. They don't have. They don't have. They don't have Jackie. I, I know Jackie's with the national team. Shit. And Club America, who they got called up? Let me find out. Oh. Ah, this is friendly, America. Oh wait, wait, wait! America versus Tigers champions of champions at 9 p.m. Wait, so we is. Oh, it hasn't even played? What are you talking about? It hasn't even played? What? So, you talking me there's a match after this one? I had no idea. But this one's not even... We're gonna... Oh, oh, goodness. Let me see this. How come I didn't know about this? Where's Club up, America? Wait, they're not, oh my goodness, they start their league too on July 17th? I need to put them on the calendar. They play Puebla in 10 days. Oh my goodness. So you're telling me not only we don't have individual action. Oh my god. The scheduling all over the place. I'm, t I'm, I'm gone. Like, I thought, I was like, yeah, I got a good week to like kind of prepare, you know, for the World Cup. No, Liga MX is back. Oh my goodness. Okay. One day. All right. Well, well. Look. Damn. And some of these matches is too much. I don't know. Because then I have to pick and choose sometimes. I want to watch as many World Cup matches as I can. Uh, but I think World Cup technically would be like undisturbed. Um, but I want to watch Nigeria. Tigas play on the 21st, but Nigeria and Canada are going to be playing the World Cup at like 8 p.m. So I was like, who you watch? I, you, watch, I watch you watch the World Cup, of course. You know what I'm saying? But uh, hold on. on. I'm on their Twitter real quick. Y'all play tonight? Let me find out. Okay, let me go on there. Let me see where they're gonna be. Where they're gonna be hosting it at? I mean, uh, how they, how are we gonna watch it? Let me see. Oh, they already got the lineups. Oh, that's subs. Okay, hold on. Champions. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, it's on VIX. Nice. Let me T U D N. Is that 8 p.m. it says? 9 p.m. 7? 8 p.m. 9 p.m.? It's on VIX. Yeah, it's on VIX. Wow. Who's all there? I want to, I want to know. I, uh, where's the lineup at? Elizondo, Rangel. Mantoya. Who's this? We got some new players. <laughs> Anyways, on YouTube or YouTube. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, look at y'all. I know Club America, yo, Club America, fire, bro. I don't think I was like. Then again, I didn't have the audio, but um, I don't know. Um, does Club America show audio on their? I mean, do they play? I know they play audio, but do they have commentators? Well, they they need to have commentators if for their. I'm pretty sure they do, right? Right. Club America have commentators for their 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 YouTube match, right? 
is like a glorified preseason game before the season starts. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Ooh, good ball over the top. So Evan here, first time. Just, ah! She was going for it. I mean, I dig it. Go for it. 42, 40 second minute. That was uh, Diana. She, 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 wants, she wants to get on the ball. The girl Diana, she got good vision too. But it, it, it's like, all right, like, damn though. I can't. She can't be our best distributor. That's Sanchez's job. Sanchez, you you gotta get on the ball and distribute that to uh, to Ebony. You know. Um. Wow. Well, I guess in a way that does help. Even if I get to see the second half, it does help us get a look at some of the players that may be influential key key players. For both teams, Club America and Club America are champions. Champions. They beat who they beat. Who's us? Uh, what was the score? I forgot what the score was. But uh, I felt like it, was, it wasn't that long ago. They played two matches home and away. What? Oh, y'all, y'all. What? They're going to play two matches? What are they playing at right now? Are they playing um in America? In America? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I mean, I dig it. I dig it. Go for it. I mean, go for it. Hmm. Hmm. Jacob's here. All right, Pigiano. I mean, quick restart, Jacobs. All right, we got about what? A couple more minutes left. See Sanchez dropping it over. I mean, Garson. She's gonna make the run consistently. Consistently. That's what we needed. That's what we need. There you go. Like. I don't know, damn that. That's not that's not what we don't we don't need you going down. Hold on, that's not what I meant. But yes, you see how Sanchez is able to drop back. Now you got you know, just imagine when the I'm thinking just imagine when Alonte gets back and we we got the Brazilian prompt. Houston gonna be looking different when they come back home. Alright, well they're gonna be even they're gonna be looking a little different. A little different. But I can't get too hyped because we haven't even made we're not we're not there yet. But Garrison, like I said, rookie of the year, fam. She's our rookie of the year. You know what I'm saying? Best player, rookie. You know what I mean? So like, our only draft pick. I remember watching that like three hour, five hour draft. I think it took Houston about three or two hours to get on the draft board. And this is who we drafted, Ryan Ryan Garris, right here. Last year, last 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 draft pick. Our only draft pick. Only only draft pick. And she was our rookie of the year. Real shit. She was really good. Um, and of course, Houston Dash made the playoffs for the first time. You said rookie of the year should be Demello. She ain't a rookie though. <laughs> she she ain't not a rookie though. But if she keeps up her stats and she helps racing get to the uh, to the playoffs. I'd say maybe like MVP. But then again, um, and then also, um, well, I mean, you can't. I won't judge her performance in the World Cup. But I really hope she does a really good job. Because she's really like, you know, it seems like on Monday Maria is going to be. Oh yeah, I did see that. I did see Maria. Maria loves Tigas. I mean, I, I, I mean, look, ooh. That's tough. Okay, you you right? All right, cool, cool. Okay. Ooh, I, I didn't look like I didn't, didn't look tough. All right. Yeah, I think Maria. I don't know. Like, uh, Tigas love her. She loves Tigas, and they have her. She might go back there one day. Like, just I mean, I don't know. Like, they, she just has a connection there. I feel like um, I don't know. Maria Sanchez was. I, I didn't know who Maria Sanchez was until I saw her play for that team. So, um, a lot of people probably know her through that team. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, she has um. She had her heart's still there. I think I, she and you know, but the end of it so was probably the next best move for her too. I mean, won everything with Tigas. With Tigas, so I mean, they were killing everybody. Maria Sanchez on that team. 
official. Not sure what they were different. They were different. Kind of, ooh, they're different. They're different. Different. Different team. Uh, but um, different game. Different. Different. Uh, different type of playing style here in in the, in the states. Um, but she played for this team, Chicago, too, before she even played for the Dash. Um, I don't even know if there's even highlights of. I guess there would be highlights of her playing for Chicago. But uh, her heart is uh, her heart is more to Tigos than Santa Clara. Is that where she went? I don't know. But uh, yeah, she she probably you know. And you can't help you know you can't happen you you can't help where like your spirit is attracted to you know where where your soul takes you you can't help that shit that shit's just you just feel it you can't help you and you don't you know, what, the fuck, what are you gonna do? I mean, <clears throat> and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I don't think there's something wrong. Oh, she before and see because she's famous for she played for Santa Clara. Oh, okay, she's famous. Oh, okay. And sometimes it takes players to go to different universities instead of the big big ones to and and become legends and become legends. Cause like how many of the most how many of the star players that we know have all been to the same college? So it's like you're just another So oh, look, 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 Sarah's Julia so all these players. So when the players and, and you can't help the players are like, look, these are my best options for football. Like, you know, these are do I wanna win and you know? And then like I said, how much money it takes to go to college and you know what can your family afford and if you're getting a full ride and everything. You know how that stuff in this in, in America, you know, the colleges some money, some money grab. <laughs> money grab. It's a money grab. You be in debt for life. In debt for life. For life. Nah, not for life. Oh, oh, get there, get there. Okay, that was cleared out there. That was going in the back in the is that St. George's? The long ball from the goalkeeper over top. And it, have we hit halftime yet? Because I swear it's been halftime. Make it make sense. But the ball dinked over. I think once again, I think that was Ava Cook, man. She's she's got some uh she's got some uh what do you call it? Some uh, vision through the through that uh through she's got some vision. She's made some really good passes. I feel she's made some good decisions too to help Chicago. All right, well, we've had the five minutes, ref. Get him off the field, man. I can't. I can't. You said Cook is cooking. I I dig the analogy. I dig the analogy. Yeah, I think she's been. Um, she's made really good decisions. I feel for Chicago. I mean, she's hurt. She put. She has helped Chicago put Houston in some vulnerable positions. Up top. So get that woman. Who job was that? Get that woman. Oh, we're running over your players, and the referee has to whistle and mouth, and it's halftime. Okay, but well, Chicago, though, they probably like, listen, we had the best chance. They did. They did. Chicago had the best chance of the match. Uh, Campbell came out for a Texas size save, and um, that, that was practically, I really didn't see too much from Houston. You know what I'm saying? Uh... All right, it's up a little bit from Ebony, and you know she needs to continue to shoot. But Garrison looks lively on the flank. Stop with the Texas size drought. Last goal, June 11th, a whole month ago, versus Gotham FC. 459 minutes. Listen, we gotta stop that streak tonight. Tonight, tonight. Look at this shit. You see how, you, 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 did you see that? They said Texas size drought. Make it make sense, fam. You see how they trying to do y'all at home? They trying to do y'all dirty. We ain't gonna y'all I'm not gonna sit here and allow that to happen. Uh, we can't allow that to happen here. Oh goodness. But damn y'all. Alright, we gonna hit, it's halftime. I hope y'all are getting your tea and stuff. I haven't actually been sipping on tea or anything. I've just been uh sipping on that water. But actually I have a lot of other drinks. Shout out to Texas Heat. We toasted here. <laughs> 
Yeah, man. Today, luckily, like I said, it, it was kind of every time I see a little sprinkles of rain, I'm like, hold on, y'all know it's summer, right? I know the rain. I'm talking to the rain, like, you know, please don't rain because you're only going to make things a little hotter. Um, but yeah, today wasn't so bad. I think there was a lot of clouds out. Um, then again, hey. Um, but um, I guess we can look, look at the pull up the stats later. But I'm just hyped, you know? So you're telling me I got Liga MX Feminine coming back in a week. Got Challenge Cup matches going on, Indivisel going on, and then the World Cup um, next in all between, and and then of course the shit that I got going on outside my outside of like this this reality that I'm creating for myself. I got shit going on in my outside world that is that's crazy. And I'm just like, what the fuck, you know? But I, that's why I'm like so grateful that I get to like you know talk to y'all about football, like some shit not to distract me from uh, my circumstances, but just to. Uh, like, remind myself, like, man, this is the world that I'm trying to create for myself, not the world that, that outside forces are trying to put put me in, you know? And I'm like, damn, anything that's worth it is worth fighting for. I think there's, I don't know what the correct saying is, but it's like, you know, you need to fight for everything that you want in this life now. I mean, it is, it was never given to us, but even now, you know, we have more access to practically everything that we can... Anything that we can imagine, we can create, right? And, um... And it's, it's now or never right now, guys. The world that you live in uh, is dying. I think about what I was doing two, three years ago. I, I do not do any... Like, I'm not that same person, right? I never... Like I said, I was doing... I didn't, I didn't think about doing uh, football commentating or even presenting myself on a screen talking to you about football. And, like, this never crossed my mind. Um like three two years ago but that's when i woke the fuck up right and realized oh shit i can't be like look, i can't be a slave for the rest of my life like i can't do that shit and like i can't have bosses tell me what to do i can't i can't have none of that shit i got to a point where it's like nah what the fuck is this shit and um like i said like that's just me as an individual you know i, I realized that I, that's i got to a certain point so i just can't have that happen anymore and like i said I'm like, YouTube, can't, Twitch. At first it was YouTube. Now, now I like Twitch. I like Twitch a lot more, but I like YouTube too. But Twitch, you know, definitely helps people like me um, get a community gathered in general, just a collective, and just like uh, talk football, watch a football match. Simple, simple. You know what I'm saying? Like chill. You know what I mean? And have a good old time. And or play video games. I think it's a great platform for uh, people. <sighs> Uh, a lot less uh, aggressive uh, when it comes to YouTube, though. YouTube, though, I, I like me. I see YouTube, too. But uh, we got the Astros. Look, we, we just observing. We got the baby there. Hey, team, the, the little Dash baby. You know what I'm saying? Little Dash baby. Hey, Lonzy, hold on. Hey, Lonzy, hold on. I would say this. Michelle is very brave. I'm glad you What in the hell was she eating? What, what was that? Was she eating like a, a bagel? I don't understand. But long as they got us TikTok, go follow her on TikTok. I don't I, I, I got I don't be on TikTok like that. But I, I don't really, I don't really be on the social medias like that. I just be on, you know, if if, if you don't catch me live, you don't catch me live here, you know. I'm I feel like this is good enough. You know what I'm saying? This is social media. It, I, it, it hints me live here we go social if you want to come holla at me ask me your questions here now but, but you know people re can reach out to me but i really don't be like doing that but i if i do be i be on twitter mainly i'll be on twitter mainly i do like twitter you know what i'm saying i do like to see like different stuff on the timeline you know and all types of stuff on um uh, and it's words it's more analytical because i'm a gemini than like pictures i'm not like a photo person so I like the, to read the things and to understand the words that people are using when it comes to football, stuff like that. But Zimbia beat Germany 3-2. Like I said, I was like, that's, that's dope. 
but I don't even know like Germany like I, I, I like Germany y'all fell off and then England drew with Portugal I want to see how USA will do against Wales and then France beat Republic of Ireland I believe so I'm like you know like some of this uh, I think Spain had won too as well some of the teams that we expected to win or win some of them are struggling um like I didn't expect Germany to be taking the L so close you know uh let me let me look around some of the because that was, a, I think they played either today or, but that's what I saw immediately on my timeline. I was like, wow. And it looked like to me, like they were the team, U.S. Men. They did have injuries, but they looked like the national team that had like the less injuries compared to practically everyone else. You know, France, Germany, um, England. America, America has a lot of injuries this season. It's just crazy when you think about it. And they still have, you know, pretty decent, a pretty decent, a pretty decent squad. Let me see right here. Let me see. Women's friendlies. Yeah, so. Yeah, so yeah, they, Zambia, Germany was today. And then yeah, France beat Republic of Ireland, Denmark and Morocco drew. Um a lot of these teams playing at half speed. What hold on? Ooh, ooh. A lot of these teams playing at half speed don't want to risk injuries. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, damn, like I said, it sucks. And here's the thing, here's the thing. Some of these injuries were at, like when you thought about we uh, who who got injured like Alexa that was like an in training injury right who else got hurt um uh when it came to the Euros right before um well we know that uh, of course Minamo got hurt I think in the Euros um who was it there was one more there was like another big player that had got hurt right before we know that Henri now is down on the count and i'm guessing this happened in training and not in the match so it's like damn it's like these ladies are getting hurt not sometimes not even in the match they're they're behind the closed doors and they're like getting hurt like really? oh shit but listen i'm not saying that it's not real but i'm just like come on now this is tough i ain't seen nothing i ain't seen nothing so i, I don't believe a lot of things that the shell government gives us but i'm like damn i didn't really see her get hurt fam but i guess i mean sorry england sorry france but listen Anyway, that's just me being me. Um, 12th minute, here's some of the highlights here. The passing they were doing in this first half. Sanchez here dropping the dime to Garz. Just quick turn and move, turn and, uh, what do you call turn and, uh, turn and pass. And then, look, look, Garson has been doing that all night. And, uh, she's continued to do that. 13th minute here. Actually, I get some, some to look at some action for Houston. This is another set piece opportunity for post. That was price off. Okay. Head her back into the goal. Clear off the line. 18 minutes. Here's Chicago. Chicago. That's a good ball. A little dig through. And this was, I feel like, the best chance. For Chicago, I felt like the best chance of the game. The Stevens just, uh, time is it really good to Griffith and Griffith? You know, that's there. Campbell, though, available. 45 plus 5? Okay. Well, this was, uh, the last minute here. Yeah, that was, if that was Cook, you saw her pick it up, then pull it out wide, and immediately look up, uh, for her teammate. Yeah, that's Cook again. To, this is St. George. St. George, shout to her. We give her some love in the beginning. Uh, she has a YouTube channel. Yeah, so you see the stats. But, like I said, Houston apparently are having a... A tsunami of goals coming in. I, I think I heard from the weather report. A, so, a tsunami of goals coming in in the second half. But, you know, you've seen, you've been seeing the stats that they showed us. Um, needs to be better, right? Sammy Boy. I, what, what are you telling the ladies? They need to. What are you telling them? What are you telling them this half? Then, okay, so also. But they're gonna hit us with commercial real quick. Bam, zero zero. So we had, uh, yeah, Morocco and Switzerland drew zero zero. Morocco, I believe, is in both Switzerland and Morocco. I believe are in the World Cup. Spain beat Denmark two zero. China beat Russia two one. Damn. Uh, Netherlands put a thumping on Belgium five zero. 
Chile lost to Brazil 4-0. Ooh, South Africa lost to Botswana 5-0. Who they? Who they? Portugal and England drew. Italy and Morocco drew. Zambia and, and Switzerland drew 3-3. Panama got whooped on by Spain 7-0. Republic of Ireland barely beat Zambia 3-2. I'm just going back up to date. Let me see something real quick. Who scored for France yesterday? Les Somer. Hey, Les Somer is back. She's back. And then who else? Who is this? Larkin. Larkin. Who that? Who that? Where she play for? Uh, -oh. uh where is she at though? That's the real question. Hold on. What number is she? Yeah, that's t whoa, whoa, hold on. You say uh England uh Katie McKinn not Katie McKinn. Uh Republic of Ireland, Katie McKinn might be injured. That sucks. But she was like the only player, like one of the players that survived the Arsenal uh drought of injuries. That's tough. That's tough. We don't you know. Um that's the shadow government. Look, the shadow government is working. He's working. Everyone is working. Everything is nonstop nowadays. It's 24-7. We're having World Cup matches at 2 and 4 a.m. in the morning, right? That's because we're on, it's going to be on half of the world. But like, it's like working. Round clock. So you're going to have to figure out how to take breaks. I'm trying to figure out. Like I'm like, like I said, my sleeping schedule. I'm trying to figure that out. Figure out life. Uh, let me see about this Orlando and this uh, Oil Ray match again, and I'll look about I look at the uh, Andy Bissell matches coming through, right? So, well, we got um, <laughs> Orlando Pride ended up winning one zero against Oil Rain, which is I'm really happy for. Uh, Orlando Pride, you know, what I'm saying they got some Brazilians. We got M Bright scored in the first half. And then we have Kansas City Currents uh, losing 2-1 to Racing Racing Cooper. And of course, Houston and Chicago 0-0. So tomorrow, San Diego Wave and Washington Spirit at 9. Late match. Late night match. 7 seconds. I'm going to hit us with that. Uh, going to hit us with some highlights for some other matches. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Sorry, the second half. Let's go. Hmm. Hey, we were just talking about them. The weekend schedule. Yeah, they were. They were like, I need us talking about the schedule. Let's let's. Nah, I'm playing. Well, rain by the score of one to nothing. A bit of a surprising score there, although Land can be any of a bit of a surprise. I feel, you know, like I said, Washington Spirit, San Diego Way, Angel City versus North Carolina Courage, Gotham versus Portland. Hey, the last match, then you all go on a little break, and then if you have to play in the Challenge Cup, you gotta play in the Challenge Cup. The ladies really only have like two weeks break, and then if they play in the Challenge Cup, they're gonna be playing the Challenge Cup. And then maybe like. <laughs> Another little break, and then I think they said August 18th is when, um, around August is when the, the, they kick back up again, like mid August, yeah. All right, look at the stands, the ladies are back in on the field. All right, uh, these games are coming in fast and furious, yeah. Fast and furious. I don't know how we're gonna manage. I just hope I make it there, bro. I just hope I can make it there. Cause I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. I didn't get to tell you. I got into a car accident literally five days before my birthday. So, I didn't think I, was, I didn't even when I got hit. I didn't even know. I was like, damn guy, you really trying to take me out right when I'm like, I'm about to turn 27. Like. I didn't tell nobody. I, I didn't tell nobody. Well, of course I told my, my people, but I ain't told y'all. Like I got, it, I really got, I got into a car accident. Thank God that nobody died and I didn't die. But six, 
six days away from my birthday or five days away from my birthday it's crazy most i never been hit before ever and i don't know if you've ever been in a car accident kind of like post trauma like post traumatic I didn't even know how to react and respond. It's like, how do you react and respond? Like, I don't even know. So, like, I'm in a way, I'm still rec not saying I'm still recovering, but like, I am recovering from like the shit that happened after. Like, that shit's going on right now in my reality. I'm just like, what the fuck? And listen, y'all, I didn't even hit nobody. I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. And anyways ordinez here outside the box inside the box takes a shot Ooh, a little a little too much underneath it but go for it i dig it i think houston dash looks so you know coming out of the second uh coming out of the second half and going for the attack you see uh ebony here drops a really nice ball down on the ground behind kruger behind davidson while we're loading oh lord optimizing listen it was fine they wanna they wanna give me problems now. Yo. I'll just restart. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? What are y'all talking about? Nothing's wrong with the game. Are you shitting me right now, bro? They're trying to play me right now. They're trying to play me right now. Bruh. Bruh. Stop. So we're having technical difficulties. <laughs> so we're having technical difficulties. All I said was, I got into. I got all I said was I got into a car accident and these niggas started hating. Now they're hating because I'm telling my story. They're mad. They're mad. I was just telling y'all, like, I almost died. The child government asked me. They tried to hurt me six days before my birthday. I was like, really? I'm just little old Nita by myself. Now I got a whole bunch of armies behind me. Y'all attacking me because y'all need an army to attack one person. Bunch of pussies. Real shit. And uh, now y'all fucking. Okay. Whew. Thank God. God is just because I'm about to go off. I was about to go off some more. I was about to go off some more. I was about to talk some more shit. Fuck the shadow government, though. Fuck them. All right, all right, all right. We back. Well, we was back already. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. We weren't. We wasn't doing nothing. We wasn't doing nothing. All right. Uh, no goals are scored here. Thank goodness. Uh, but yeah, y'all. Hey, you gotta stay tough out here. You got listen. Listen, listen, because I have reprogrammed my mind, I'm not going back to how I was thinking back in the day. There's, It's just no way possible. But the enemy will try. That's for sure. And that's what I, I have faith, faith. I have that faith, faith. I will not move. I, I need y'all to have that faith, faith too within yourself because the more of us got that faith, faith, she looked like she was kind of out there on her own, just trying to make something and get towards go a little bit more options. But I think in the midfield for the Chicago Red Stars, I said it, they need to possess the ball a little bit. The more it helps others so we can get up out the spaces that they that we're in, in this reality. <clears throat> and it ain't going to be utopia. It ain't going to be utopia, but damn, it's not going to be like this either, okay? It's not going to be like this either, real shit. Like, shouldn't have to fucking... You, you, it's not going to be like how we see it. Like, niggas are homeless out here. Really, really, really in the world where I don't even know. But anyways, let me get back on the game, man. Um, I don't think any teams have had any subs either. But Houston had looked, looking fresh. They got to continue to get it to Garson, of course, like I said, over the top. Um, and Ebony, you saw her drop a good ball in behind, right behind Kruger and Davidson. And we saw Diana pick it up and, you know, go for a shot. It was it was just a little high. But um, they got to do that some more. 10% George taken away. Garris trying to go long, long sprint. That'll help. See, they got the goalkeeper coming out here. Inside over there. Clear it out. Throw in. Houston. Player we're talking about, Ella Stevens. He's had to do more, of course, with Mallory Swanson's injury. 
I think we're talking about obviously completely different types of players, but I think obviously if Mallory Swanson was there, it would allow Ellis Stevens to probably have way more assists than she even already does, being able to combine in those areas. But I like the quality that she's Oh, I was like, damn, that was her time right there. I know. I mean, she was rushing on to two players, but um, Sanchez had put the ball into the box. Okay, here's the. This is St. St. George. Here she is, trying to face up with Peterson out there. She's pretty quick. Ah, but she does can't maintain. Let's the ball get out. But good, she's really active from that. It's active from that uh that side of the field. Just a little bit more composure is needed, I think, from and I use those both both those players. I think they've had an impact in this game. They get into those areas and they kind of run out of ideas, or they don't pick a player out, or they choose the wrong option. I think St. George always looks dangerous when she's got the ball, when she's running. I just think she needs to combine a little bit more with the other players in those areas in the 18-yard box. In the past, we've seen St. George play in the back, but she plays much higher up with Chicago. And she looks comfortable. Yeah. She looks dangerous. She does. I think it's just a matter of picking, making the better decisions in those mm. areas. And maybe teammates making those runs for her as well. That's Griffith. Ooh, good footwork, though. Yeah, did she get fouled? Yes, yeah, she did. Griffith gets this free kick for Chicago. Wait, or I guess advantage was playing? Okay, well, anyways, I thought, I thought, I thought they could pop, pop, pop. Right side. Angel. Ooh, okay, that was deflected too. There's Kruger. She's gonna pick this one up. But Ebony there, available. Gets it. Almost. Almost. Throw in here. Casey Kruger. Griffith. End line. Nowhere to go. Again, it's knocked out of play. Griffiths came on against Gotham and got a really good assist for Ricaro's goal. And that's where I want to see Cook there. Being able to impact. Ooh. Okay, goal that kick here. Goal kick. In the end, he was lost by Chicago. Goal kick for Campbell. And I think, obviously, we talk a lot about the lack of goals, the lack of shots on target. I just don't think... I think it also comes down to the lack of creativity for both teams. I don't think they, they get the ball out wide. How many times have you seen them get the ball out wide and provide the ball into the box? With the Houston Dash, we haven't seen mm. that. Appear to be head to head. It's uh, Kruger and Kruger. Diana there. And Ordonez. Both players going for the ball. You're very vulnerable in those situations. I mean, she hasn't scored any goals in a while either. It's been a while. Like, I can't believe, like... Like... She was scored, She had scored penalties. I don't think... I'm trying to remember who... I know she had scored, like... When Houston started the season... It's been... Think about it. It's been 15 matches plus the Challenge Cup matches. And she's featured... Practically... She's been starting, like... She didn't start maybe, like, the first two, maybe? She's been playing... Practically every other, every match, right? Um, Bianchi, head up, just to, goes just, left. You, I think I would say the service is there. It's just cutting it back. Almost lost it. Recovers well. Yeah, it really hasn't been. Deflected out by Cook. See, I would love to see Caprice Dardasco a little bit higher up. She's got such a good delivery. Can we can't draw with Chicago. That's that Chicago don't mind. They're at the bottom of the table. No offense. No, no offense. Chicago, but they're at the bottom of the table, Houston. And you really, I, 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 of course, Houston have. I feel I've seen a better Houston side. You know. Um, I feel like the match versus Carolina was diff was different. The opportunities who's creating the chances and within this game but it looks like that chicago they'll have a some people some people were saying they don't have a really good back line but and of course like i said they they are bottom of the table and they have been conceding goals but at least they got three points last match you know compared to houston now she scored you know three two in the last two 
Here's the counter. And the back three, is it is it is it Houston's game? Is a back three Houston's game, really? St. George is throwing, she's getting past Peterson. This she takes on Price Lock. St. George, confident on the ball, for sure. She's been bright, and I think she's obviously trying to get at the Houston dash back line. I just think sometimes she's right, a bit more. You can see Ella Stevens is making that run on the left-hand side. But okay. That's Peterson. To get on the ball. She's certainly working really hard. Leaving it here. There's Diana here. Dropping back. She wants She wants to be there. She wants... Oh. Ebony with the... She don't. She said that shove wasn't that. She said that shove wasn't that heavy. I mean, I look like Kruger kind of. Mm, I don't know. Maybe she kind of took an extra win with that one. Oh, this one too. You see that? Yes, I saw the push. <laughs> okay, I saw the push there. They kind of. She kind of went. <laughs> Alright, alright, listen, Houston. Y'all keep your hands to yourself. These players are falling over. Oh, whoa. That was funny. You saw, because we kind of all knew what was going to She about to. She kind of fell. She fell forward. Ooh. Hey, Houston, you can't have. You can't have Cook out hustle you right there, fam. Oh! Oh! Ooh, good block. Griffith was there. If they had finished that, that would have been all because Cook did not give up on that play right there. That's great effort um, from uh, Cook. I say she's been Chicago's, one of Chicago's best players, I have to say. I don't even know who. I ain't even said, listen, I ain't even watch Chicago like that. But Cook a good baller. Look, she's the decision maker here. Look, look, she's getting the flowers today. She's getting, she's getting some, some screen time. Oh, yes. That was a tough back pass. Oh, but the touch is the touch from Griffith. Yeah, she, she, Katie Lynn, the big priest. Yo, yo. If that was a goal right here when Griffith came, if this was gonna, if this was a goal, that would have been on y'all, because y'all, no, no one, y'all thought the ball was gonna go out of bounds, and I think, I don't know what did, what did, what did Stevens do to Lynn? She had her falling back. Oh shit, that would have been a highlight. I don't know what she, she had her falling back. But, um, man, I don't even know, ooh, again, this is a, not a foul, ooh, ooh, St. George pickpocketing, maybe, she, she don't think she was a foul, let me get that replay, Houston, y'all slip and wake up, Chicago growing in this game right now, Aderson, what happened here, we gonna get a replay, probably not, alright, well, Houston slipping right now. Chicago got the. I feel Chicago looking, looking, looking aggressive. All right. Okay. See Jacobs drop it over to Ebony. Okay. Oh, the touches, the touches, ladies, the touches. They're they're killing both teams. You saw one with Griffin in here. What, see what Ebony here. Gonna be a little bit. I think a little bit more patient. A little bit. Just breathe a little bit. Breathe a little bit. Goal's coming from one of these teams. See Stevens here. In the middle. Oh. Ricaro. She's going to drop it back. Backwards. All right. This is St. George. Ooh, Sanchez. She goes for it, but she doesn't She doesn't get out of that tackle. She doesn't win that tackle, I guess. Actually, got to come back and defend. This is Ricardo. She puts an early ball in. I saw Chicago once again. Ooh, good ball. Played through Ricardo. Oh, wow. Kruger is far post. It, there's a lot of Chicago players. Ooh, goodness. Kruger just skips. Oh, clear the ball. Great block. Still in the box, Chicago. Stevens. What a block. Oh, what a block from Capri. Bro, that was crazy, bro. Okay, first of all, Kruger did Ebony dirty a little bit. All right, got her momentum shifted. Shoot, just, just, just quick. And then the, what a great ball there. The Caprice was right there. Uh, and so was Stevens. But damn, that was tough. Houston, it's quick decision making by Kruger there. I was, I thought that for sure was gonna be a goal. Somewhere around here was gonna be a goal. Houston. Like I told y'all, we I was I was talking about this that 
about well, Houston's clean sheets being down 10 players for two matches back to back you know that was impressive still but they conceded last match against Chicago, the Chicago shoots uh, against North Carolina so that's it that's over it's over it's over and done with but I still think Houston have been better defensively which allows her so, it, is that right? You saw that field fielder? Big feet fielder? Is that? I don't, to be able to I don't even know if that's the right word. Huh. Oh, it is. Okay. Anyone have an advantage? Yeah. Okay. Anyways. I think the game's playing out. What well, are Houston's one v one chances? Or what are Houston's creations like that? I mean, they've been. <laughs> But it doesn't really matter in this thing we've seen it. We've I feel like Houston have, have looked their best when they got the ball to their wings, either Garrison or even Ebony. From uh, uh, like it's been a long switch of play. It's been either from the fullback or someone to drop back in the midfield. Nothing really Houston have we really haven't had to see um mm, I don't know if a back three is for Houston. Join Chicago you know, their next home game on August 5th to host this very same Challenge Cup. Houston plus Chicago. August 5th. RedStars.com slash tickets for details. Chicago playing at home at Seat Geek Stadium. And we are going to see Chicago. It looks like Hawking and Nagasato. Possibly a double switch. We'll see. Players were stretching a little bit on the sideline. And if it is those two, they are two players who have missed some games due to injury but have been back in full training mm. a little too much heat no how is she gonna look how is she gonna control that i would love to see within this game <laughs> like really how, would, how did you expect her to maintain possession of that one i was a little too much due to the quality We've seen, I don't think we've seen any consistent types of passing. All right, all right. If you're Chicago, you're, you're kind of, you know, away from home, Chicago, you're, you're playing really well. Um, playing really well and created good chances. Here's Cook again on the ball. Caprice here is with her. She uses her, her body really well, and she's very good. She likes to, well, not only does she has the vision, but she like she's comfortable on the ball. See, it seems. It seems very comfortable. Very comfortable. I ain't never heard of this player before, Cook. Quality, I've seen. She's probably been the best player on the field. Both teams. She's also going forward. I think she's defended this very, very well. Julia Bianchi. All right, a corner for Chicago. We got some. What's going on over there? And Campbell Ray, she almost fell into the net. <laughs> I saw her stumble. I saw her stumbling. All right, quarter. Chicago putting in the box. I think that was Julie. Ooh, up there, far post. Good setup, though. Who that? Number twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. She gets up there. Good ball. Sharple. Sharple was there. And she's a she's a center back. All right, Jane. I mean, luckily we have OG Jane back there. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Not everyone has a Jane Campbell in the back of the net. Real tall. Real tall. I mean, it's unfortunate that she got knocked out of the USA goalkeeping contender race. Uh, because of all the six-footers. But, you know, hey. But I'm like, oh, it kind of makes me mad. I'm like, damn. We, ooh, heavy touch from Kruger here. Oh, but then I wasn't able to get that ball because it was coming. I was in behind. It's gonna be tough. Okay, I was giving away easily. Here's the counter. Ooh, Ebony here. She has a Diana, but Ebony should go for it. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow, she didn't. She couldn't clear it. She cleared it with her legs. Oh. Everybody had like a window, but she she shot it right at the goalkeeper, right? Good save, but she fumbled it. Ooh, Sanchez with the shot. Okay, Sanchez wants to take a long ranger. Trying to cast the goalkeeper. Uh oh. Oh, Emily, all right, right there. But yeah, Vigiano just picks off that pass so easily and then creates this chance right here for Ebony. Ebony does create it for herself. She, she takes a shot. She gets a little pocket of space uh, in front of um, 
Davison. And here's uh, Sanchez. I mean, from long range, Sanchez. I mean, did she get a paw to it? She did. And I hear inside the box, holds it up. Vigiano puts it down. Better from Houston, much better. Chicago there. Luckily, those shots were, you know, not as uh, potent. Uh, but good movements from Houston. Much better. Those are the ones you just need a goal to go in to get your confidence. You know, you can't just wake up the next day and think you're just confident one day. It doesn't work like that. Again, Vigiano here. Looking for uh, Diana. But that was... Oh, Vigiano, that was like... So it would be a tough pass. That was going to be a tough pass. World Sport. 5,000. Oh, Peter said here, she she does get to that, but that that she that she does blocked. All right, Peterson, St. George, South St. George, she's getting camera time action. Go follow her on YouTube. Make sure you go, go follow. She's she, her name is her YouTube name. <laughs> so. Um, Ah, uh, do you know if there's a stricken player? Or uh, uh, that league? Thanks. What? I'm confused at, like, on that question. I don't even know what word you spelled out there. I ain't never seen that word ever in my 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 like. I'm I'm looking like. Have I ever seen that word before? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a type of player. It's it's for oh like uh, demographically what what country or what nation is that? Houston, clear the ball, please. What what country are you talking about? I, I feel like you're saying Chilean, but it doesn't look like Chilean. Like but like from Chile. <laughs> I was saying, yeah, that's what I was thinking you were saying. Um, oh look at that! Look at the fives. Those are dollar signs. Yuri, 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 and Hawking. Coming in. Um We've not seen Penelope hockey in a while. She has missed the last sixty seven minutes here. Uh, uh I'm not Chilean. I mean I feel like there probably is, but um that one that comes to my mind, to be honest. Not not that one that comes to my mind. Even in the Chicago Red Stars team when they weren't playing very well, she definitely was. Ricaro here, she has some space. Ooh, that was deflected. Yo, offside flag has to be up, yeah? Oh, snap, the deflection. Yo, I was just thinking, that was hockey slap. I felt something when she came in. I'm like, this girl looked like she gonna score. I should have said it. If this is Hawkins, I'm done. And if she's onside, I'm hella done. Bro! Bro, I'm telling you, when she came on the field, like, something in my intuition was like, she's gonna score. Yuri, instant impact. Okay, let's see. The deflection, where are the ladies at? Ooh. Okay, we need to replay that a little bit because, okay, we ain't gonna see if that. This is tough because the deflection, I mean, look. The deflection, though. Oh, man, Houston. Ricardo had a wide open window because it didn't it deflect off of a Chicago player. They don't have to VAR this whole facts. They have to. They have to. No, no, no! Houston, down to Chicago. Come on, they don't have to replay this. We need, we, we need, I need to see this over again. It's too tough. But she, she started how she finished. How she it's too tough. In the Star, I don't like goals like that. But that was such a that deflection right killed right Houston. Right oh, it's a goal. They want to. Coaches love it when they make a substitution and that sub makes an impact. Tough. Oh. Like, I don't understand how Houston seems to be continuing to struggle. Hawking's third goal of the season in just her ninth appearance. Got 20 minutes left. Miss six games like she did and not play in well over a month, closer to two months. That's big. And the ladies know they probably like, damn, we gotta score a goal, ladies. Like they, they. You know, Chicago scored. This back to my matches that they scored. I'm not too sure if they had to play San Diego at in San Diego, but if they did win at, uh, in San Diego, that's like some back-to-back -back games. They're they're getting a goal. Um, 
without their best player. And Houston practically, we would say, have their best players on the field. Um, and they're struggling to get it done. All right, you're Chicago. How do you keep this? How do you win this game now? You're up one nothing. I think you can see just in the first two, three minutes of Nagasato and Penelope Hocking have come in. They're great substitutions to be able to make, to bring into the game, to kind of, I wouldn't say see it out. I think you can't be, you know, wait, time waiting. Just growing pains. Additional time to go. It's like growing pains for Houston. Just having the quality. And Chicago has been growing. Like, definitely for Chicago, it has to be like this. I mean, I don't know. Chicago, I don't even know if Houston are going to make the playoffs. But Chicago, are Chicago going to be able to come back and make the playoffs? Y'all y'all be honest. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> uh, with that being said, Chicago has, like I said, has to put, come out every match um, with their guns out. With their guns out. Ready to play. Um, and, okay, Jane, good, good catch. Both, both these teams, I don't think Houston has been through that many changes like Chicago has. And Houston didn't lose their best player like Chicago has. So it kind of like, you know, makes you wonder... What, what's going on in Houston? What's going on? What's going on? Why can't we find form? <laughs> Or are we missing? And then, like I said, when uh, we may not find it until some of the, everyone comes back home, you know. Uh, like I said, this was the time for Houston to get points. I was thinking, like, yeah, Houston are able to, you know, gross get some points here, but it, that has not been the uh, the real that has not been reality. These other teams are a little bit more. It's a heavy touch right there, St. George again. But she's been lively, like I said. She's been lively. They got Leanne Sanderson and uh, JP Della Camera on the on the commentary on Paramount. Shout out to Leanne Sanderson. Bro, when I heard her do the fucking AC Milan and uh, Inter Milan commentary, I was like, yo, she's so British. She's so British. <laughs> I'm like, she's so British. <laughs> it's hilarious. When you hear them talk, you're like, nigga, you're straight from London. Or not, you know, whatever, the UK, you know what I'm saying. You're like, <laughs> And sometimes, like, I think MLS have some, I, I don't know, Irish, Irish guys or something, commentators. Yo, shout out to y'all people that speak, like, anyways, we need some subs. Where are we need some subs, Sammy boy. The, this I think you gotta have to sub Peterson. Get her some rest. Bro, who we gonna bring on the bitch? I would bring on the, the rookie. I mean, I bring on Barbara. I, th I like what she did uh, last match. She was aggressive. Bring on Barbara. I don't think we can bring on Anderson, but we need something. Something different. Bring on that girl Tucker. Bring on that girl Tucker. We need Tucker's energy. We need Barbara's energy. We need something. We need something, Houston. This ain't working. Is at the near post helping out Boyd. All right, corner Caprice. We need a head. We need an equalizer here. Diana here. Ooh. All right, Prysock here picks it up. Got to put put it back in the box. Vigiano here, first one. Once again, another another one. Little one two. Ah, uh, she couldn't get around that one. I like that from Boyd. Really, really good strong hand. First goal since April. Hawking's first goal since April 15th, so she has broke her deadlock. She's on the score and she she has a cool last name, Hawking. Yeah, and I don't even think that's a true depiction of how good she cool is the Chicago Red Stars team. I think whenever they've been playing. But yo, I'm telling you once again, like when she came on the field, they showed her numbers. I was like, bro. No way. She's gonna score. Like I'm, I didn't want to say that, bro. But I tell you, I had it. It's oh, I had a feeling. You know when you have those feelings. I had a feeling. Like, I was like, this chick about to go and score. Like oh, oh, oh. Tucking it in. Vigiano. Couple of cuts, couple more, drives it across. And I think Mex listen, if Tigas are playing too, I feel Mexico is playing too as well. Mexico is playing Venezuela. See, Barbara could be with Venezuela. I know I, I know I saw Diana was with Venezuela. Um I think I saw I think I saw um it was like a post post match interview or 
You look like a post match interview. She just, she, 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 she's very shy. Like she don't seem like she's, she's an Aries, so it's like, oh, she seems so shy. But uh, I mean, uh, I, I didn't know what they were saying, but just I didn't really listen to anything. But I just saw, you know, I observed. I just observed what was going on. Um, but they have in that. It's like it was like Mexico, apparently Venezuela, Puerto Rico. I felt. Uh huh. Who scored? Uh, Hawkins, Hawk, Hawkins, I believe. In the, in the um, just a couple minutes ago, Houston. And a goalkeeper be coming out. Ebony, Jupiter. Oh, oh. And she got a cool line. Hey, yo, you ever seen Charlotte's Web? I don't know. I saw. It. I don't know why I want to tell you this, but Charlotte's Web is like one of the OG movies. And it makes me feel bad about eating bacon, but Char <laughs> uh, Charlotte's Web, if y'all don't remember what it was about, it's such a like sentimental movie. Like one, It was one of those movies that growing up, it's like it, it had a deeper meaning. That, that, that The movie had a deeper meaning. And while we're on a rotten break, hydration break, let me just tell you about Charlotte's Web. America 1-0, this is ridiculous. This is this is ridiculous. 16 minutes to us. 16 minutes, you couldn't last. 16 minutes. 16 minutes. What is this? Oh, thank God. I'm sorry. Okay, shit. I'm just saying, oh, God. 16 minutes. The match just started. The match just started. Who's starting for y'all? Y'all, we, we can get over here. Yo, hold on. Tina, what is this? Mexico is playing, fam, today too. I swear, it's zero zero right now versus Venezuela. I believe. So I mean, what the fuck? So you got Tigas from America, Mexico. We got NWSL. They had Tigas have some new players playing. I need to. I need. I gotta look. I have. I have to look. Um, you know, later. You know, later. Oh, who like that? Oh, shout out to you, my nigga. Who could come in as subs, but it's not like what Chicago just put on there with Nagasato and her experience and Hawking and her skill and the kind of season she was having. She's um, and then you know what's so funny too? The Spurs, because I live in San Antonio, the Spurs got the number one overall pick, and they they drafted a French guy. Right. And so he's been getting hella. Well, they, like I said, San Antonio like been popping. Like so now, now they're like the hot topic over here. I'm like, what the fuck's going on over here? Like now everyone like you know because it's like he's like the next best best thing. Like he's and he got drafted to the Spurs. Spurs are like the goats of like. There's Barbara here. All right, okay, okay, okay. T guys line up. Santiago, Antonio, Marcado, Fischel, Rangel, Vidal, Cruz, Gutierrez, Reyes, Montoya, and Palamo. Okay. Okay, I, I see the only two new names that I see are Montoya and uh, Pal Paulino. Everyone else, OG. Everyone else, OG. So, nice. I feel it. I feel it. Ooh. I feel like, ooh, in Call of America, we all got out there, man. We all got out there, real shit. Oh, I need to get on YouTube. That's what I need to do. Because I'm probably on YouTube right now. I can just look at him right quick. See the game. It should be live, right? No, and his strong hand, and it gets it away from the goal. She's not parrying the ball into a crowd. Oh, for Houston. She's coming and she's commanding. That's all you can really ask for. Nagasato will get the return from Bianchi. If you notice as well, this is Nagasaki. Oh, here we go, here we go. Look how much better. Oh, here we go, I got the lead soon. <clears throat> they look more calm, composed, and I said, they 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 may, They're making us choose between Mexico, Venezuela, Tigas, Tigas, and Club America. Once again, St. George's been active, bro. Look at her just. Oh, she can't. Y'all! We all defense at, fam. Uh, let me see this team. Let me see this team. Oh, I got the game. I'm saying real shit. Uh, Club America. Tigas here. Real shit. You know, we, we esoteric football commentators. We watch we watch all football all over the world. Not just not just the popular ones because that that's lame. That's lame. All right. Twenty minutes left here. Zero dash 
won Chicago. And overall, to be honest, Chicago have played better. Chicago have played better. 81st minute. I'm happy Barbara comes in for these last 20 minutes. See, hopefully she can get something. But she's really good. I mean, what, young in too? Oh, who did she even come in for, to be honest? But, uh, Jacob's down for the count real quick. What's up, Jacob? You all right, homie? You all right? You all right? Yeah, St. George, first of all, she shoved off Peterson. And then Jacob's went for the tackle. She, she, she. She rode that she challenge nice. After she reached for the ball. Well, they have more depth if they have to bring in somebody on the back line. They just don't have. I only 15, 15 minutes here. You got um. For Chicago, Aguilera has come in. Oh shit! I should put this over here. Uh. Oh, St. George is going off. Shout out to her. Hmm. Tigas, Tigas are playing in our blue and America playing in the yellow. Okay. It's gonna be right and bike, not Aguilar. Oh, why would I say we had like 20 minutes left, man? We only got 10 minutes left. Let's verify that. I saw 14. Here's Kruger on the ball. Kruger here. Just I mean, find some good runners. Katie goes ahead and clears it. Jane was there too. She was. They were ready. That was. All right, but this is a corner for Chicago. Houston, man, you gotta defend once again. Jacobs down. Oh goodness. Back in. I'm like, Gotta didn't the season sure. just end like a month ago for Liga MX? The ball is driven in. Like, it didn't it the just end? I guess it's been like a good month. Oh, what a tackle. And Barbara, you know. <laughs> Well, Barbara's from Katy, Texas. I saw her little um, I saw her little video on on Houston Dash twi Twitter, no, on Houston Dash uh, YouTube. But she's from Katy, Texas. But she has a Venezuelan that or well, I, uh, well, she's parents are from Venezuela, so she has that in her DNA. But born born in Katy, Texas, so. That's what she was saying on the video. So I was like, all right, that's what's up. So. Where's who's Ricaro? Ricaro. Ricaro, she plays for Chicago. Pretty sure. Uh, she's like, play, she plays like a like CDM position or kind of like a center midfield position. But the players just need to make better decisions when they're in the 18 yard box or in and around there. And they found themselves into good areas, but wasted a lot of opportunities. And I think we see that a lot in this Houston Dash team. But the, po the positive is that Sarah Ubert. Areas, I mean, where's she from? Ricardo? Uh, I guess America. I'm not too sure. Ooh. Diana almost got that pass. Diana, seemed, like I said, even these players are so young, right? Diana, Barbara, Ebony. That they still have time. They still need time to grow into what actually is my preferred position. And I feel like with Diana, it's still. I feel like. She, she likes to get on the ball. And I, I love her for it. Now you're in the yeah, and they just mean that type of that's just the type of player so far that she is right now. And she's only twenty one, I think, twenty two. So so young lady, you know what I'm saying? I, I and um no pressure. You have plenty of time to develop, fam, I guess. You know what I'm saying? And um I don't think she's she's only been in the league maybe two or three years, too. Oh, you said I thought you she said she was from Venezuela. Oh no, I'm talking about Barbara. Barbara number fifteen. Number fifteen Barbara for Houston is from Venezuela. Well, she's from Katy, Texas, but she has Venezuelan background. I guess her parents are from Venezuela. Like she's been she, like she's yeah. My parents are from Venezuela. Well, she was born in Katy, Texas. So she's Venezuelan American. 
or I don't know what they call it. Very hard in this game tonight. Both. She has American citizenship. How about that? When it comes to like uh, living in the country purposes, but uh, I still I don't know if you need a green card. Now. I don't even know people. I feel like nowadays. I mean, shit. If I want to come live in your country, I should be able to live in your country. I, I shouldn't need like permission to come live in your country, especially if I'm not gonna cause any problems. But motherfuckers, unfortunately, fuck that up for everyone else. Now you need to live here for 25 years just to be a citizen. Then again, I was like, I was just visiting. I just wanted to come here for a little bit, just to see the culture, just to see the environment. I wasn't even trying to be like, you know, that whole, that that whole thing. Peterson, she's she's Peterson's had a. I don't know if she's a good defender, to be honest. I feel like, especially in the back three, I'm not too sure. Ooh, Club America have a free kick, as Chicago does. Well, these are our options. I'm still not going to get over the fact that we traded Haley Hansen. I'm still not going to get over that fact. We have not recovered from that position. Where? I mean, you, you, we signed Caprice. But Haley, who, Haley Hansen was going to take over Chapman's spot. I, I don't know why we got rid of her. I'm still not over it. I'm still not over it. I'm still not over it. She's quality. She's quality. All right, free kick Chicago. Keeping it on the ground. Are well, they trying to go for this one point? They trying to. They trying to. Kind of, they, they trying. They really trying to go for this one point right now, Chicago. Like we gonna play with the lead. Damn. Ricardo here on the ball. Barbara right, available. Double team Sanchez. All right. Okay. Use the counter for Tigas. It's so frustrating when you're on Ooh. the reverse side when you're trying to win the ball back. It's the most frustrating thing. And this is all they need. More possession. <sighs> Nagasato. That's blocked by the dash, but given right back. Caro. Alright, Houston have to know what they want to do. Jeez, and it still gets past them. Offsides. Three minutes left and some something. Houston need to get a point out of this one to try at least two. This is the last match to the break, man. This is crazy. Yeah, just go route one, flick it on. Crazy. Need to be pretty soccer. Just get the ball forward because time's running out. Losing another one. You're telling me, boy. You're telling me, man. It's tough. It's tough. You know. It's like um there Hawking was right there. Campbell. It's like Priceock. 89th minute. Chicago leads Houston. They had a maybe the first 5 6 remember Houston I don't remember the narrative. I don't remember Houston were undefeated for like I think it was the first 5 5 or 6 matches. And then it's been like on a bounce. Nagasato. After it. Like a pause, like a pause, like a pause for Houston. And, uh, they gotta figure it out. They gotta figure it out. They gotta figure it out. Um, she's Sanchez here, trying to do her best to get the free. Maria Sanchez going wide. Move up the ball. Continue, continue to have the ball. Sanchez still has the ball. She gonna dink it in. Well, it's crossed out. It's corner. Sometimes, I mean, Sanchez may have to do that a little bit more. Just, like, hold the ball, move, and let the players move up. See something. Got. But this is the first time he, we've, we've seen Ebony, Diana, Sanchez all play the whole, like, the whole 90. Like, it's, and still nothing. You know, this is the first time I've seen it. Like, I don't, they, I don't remember when they start. They, they all started. Of course, if we had Alonzi, it'd be nice. But I mean, this is the World Cup. I mean, this, this, this that, that, that would have been reality. That we wouldn't have them. When you put the boy into the box, Boyd out of goal, cleared it with the left foot. Tadasco. We gotta keep the fighting spirit, though. You know, we gotta keep the fighting spirit. Just going through a 
through a, a phase. It's Barbara. I think Barbara came in for Garth, and that's who she came in for. Six added minutes. That's enough time to score. Vigiano. Oh, that, that. Sometimes it looked like she kind of handballed it. Handballed it. Rowan Houston. Up against the scoreboard and up against the clock as well. Jacobs advancing straight up. Nagasato, strong header. All right, Dash still on the front. Getting it out to Peterson. Peterson Got to have somebody in the box. It's a good floated ball, but... Ooh, Diana kind of went down tough. But it was two, two, two in the middle for the goalkeeper. Boyd has had an excellent game. Commanding, confident, strong hand to get the ball away, coming out and getting it. Peterson put that ball in there. And that's exactly what they need to at this point. It doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to go into those areas. Something can happen. Force someone to make a mistake. Hawking, Hawking's got the energy himself. right now. We'll take some she time she got past. Oh, she, she, she got too much energy. She's got, she's the sub. She, she's got fresh legs and she scored a goal. So, you know, she's uh, feeling it. I'm over here looking at, I'm looking at Club America Tigas. 26 minutes. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Down the wing. Headed out. Kruger. Look how quickly they're getting it into play. They have no choice. Can't be patient now. Salmon. Another throw in. All right, Diana here on the edge of the post. Oh, post. Edge of the box. Jacobs here in the middle. She's going to take a shot. It's blocked. Really don't want your center back taking the shots, but I mean, all or nothing. Four minutes left. Get it out. Peterson's out left. Uh, she doesn't want to give it to her. Okay. Back to Prysock. Prysock here. Uh, all right. Everybody good run. I thought Hawkins was going to track her. Oh, Kruger, though. What the cross? What's the... What the what? What a tackle that is. What the what the good sliding challenge? I mean and she still made you know still had the ball in. Good Vigiano put the ball in the box. Uh, once again, Houston. We haven't seen well, where is all where is this Houston like these waves here, man? Houston with these waves. Good run, good run from Ebony too. That Kruger cross that Kruger save though right there. That that's that's I mean, you needed your defender right there. Ebony had a like an open window. Very little margin for error. Pretty dangerous ball from Jacobs too. Very close. It was like um, Ebony Salmon just took a little bit too long and delayed it a little bit. But having said that, Casey Kruger came across and fantastic. Look, if 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 Germany got scored on in in, in extra time to Zambia, Chicago can get scored on in extra time to Houston Dash. Mentally and physically, going hard after every ball over the Ooh. top. Nagasato Yuri waits. She's she not also? Was it on? Yes, not. Want to lose possession? That's the veteran Nagasato. Dang. Mm. Well, well done, Chicago. That looks like they're gonna have back-to-back -back wins here, and Houston are gonna have back-to-back -back losses, and um, that's going to oof. And as a sub and make this and like, happen uh, almost instantaneously. And she draws the foul. Nagasato Free kick, Chicago. They've been absolutely brilliant since they've come into this game, but Nakasato, unbelievable. It's almost like the game Katie, goes down. Katie, she's not happy. Oh, oh. Exactly you got Agu Aguilera coming in, I believe. She's been brilliant since she's hmm. come into this game. Aguilera's going to come in for Ava Cook, and Cook was not on the score. Yeah, it's all Saturday. She outworked most of the players in the uh -oh. field. A lot of tireless work, selfless running, good performance from Ava Cook. They can't be comfortable wearing that face shield in temperatures, heat and humidity of Houston. Cook, I feel Cook, uh, even though she um, she didn't get a goal or assist, she was a really good player. I have to watch her a little bit more. On the whistle, those two keeping it. 
Nice job by Didask. One minute left, Houston. Jacobs. Lynn, you could see her pointing at her teammates. Pushing up field, Peterson here. Fairly quickly. I leave it for Sanchez. Most likely added for that last substitution, but maybe a half minute. Jacobs in the middle. She's calling for it. <laughs> it's not the way they want to be All right, Price up gets the troops waved Price on. Drives it. Okay, good. Good dink over. We got players down in the box. Oh, player not the head. Oh, the head. Ah, oh, the collision. That that killed it. Bike is one of the players down. Barbara was in front of her. It seemed. Yellow cards out. Didn't see exactly who the aggressor was on that. But it looked like a head to head. As well. This is going to add more time as well. From seeing it the way I saw it in my first moment, I have no idea how this is not a Houston dash free kick. And it looks like Olivier is getting the yellow card. Yeah. I so, Barbara got a yellow? Like, Didn't it look like Barbara was in front of her? Given... Yeah. That, uh... Oh, her arm, right? She can't help that her hand was up. Like she, she was, it was so accidental. But yeah, she did get whacked up on the head too. She couldn't do anything about but, run into her arm. She right. couldn't do anything about I, would, I mean, I guess. I mean, really, you can't really. What can you really do about that? If you're Barbara. I mean, if you're the girl that got hit, you're like, damn, I got what? You know, you're like, well, you should have, like, what? So you punished the player that got there before because of the, the end result ended in a, a kind of a flailing hand. And that really killed Houston. That was the chance, too, because that was a good head on. From Barbara to find because Sanchez was going to pick it up. They had one more opportunity. They had one more. They they had one more. Yeah. Trying to win their second straight game by the same one nothing scoreline. Boyd's clearance off Nagasato. Another block. Jacobs heads it down. Nagasato on the ball. Hawking. Tracking it, Lynn going forward. It's gonna go out. If there was a foul, hmm. can't be much left. Houston has to launch this. Campbell knows and does. Headed down. Ordonius will try to chase it. Bike was there, cleared it out. Throw in for the dash. We're at eight minutes now. Stoppage time. Oh, the first time I've ever seen a referee kick the ball back that is it. to the players. Game over. Oh, but Chicago that was it. Red stars wow, them. that's a tough one from the dash. But if you're Chicago, you're like, listen, great team effort. Uh, I mean, you got to just continue to lift your heads high, Houston. I mean, look, you'll score eventually I mean that's the only thing you can say next it's just it just didn't happen this match next match though you know y'all be ready Chicago back-to-back -back dubs you know they're cheerful um let's see the play of the match the ball was deflected was she all sides Damn, it was so tight, but I don't think she was offsides, man. I don't think she was offsides. I think it like was per picture perfect. The deflection killed everyone, and Hawkins was there. Oh shit, Mia, Mia, Mia's in the box. She was excellent before she went out with that injury for six games. You can see she's looking over at the assistant referee to see if it was off. Oh man. Anyways, thank y'all once again for tuning in to Anita's joints. Hashtag extended joint. Where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl Anita flying high. Flying out of this third dimensional reality, and I will see you on the next one. This.